the Lake University Lions men's basketball team. Contrary to popular belief, football is a year-long sport. They lead in the second half. The Lincoln Lions are entering overtime. Lady Lions return to the floor for the first time since their loss. So can you briefly explain to us the importance of all-season workouts? All right, this I'm here with Coach Hill, head coach of the men's basketball team after that great win. I would like to award you for your hard work, dedication, determination. Well, there you have it. The Lion linebacker will be giving back to the wildlife. What was going through your mind in the second half when you guys lost a 12-point lead? While you're hardly working, they're working hard. Until next time, this is Deontay Smith. The Lincoln University Lions men's basketball team hits the floor for the first time since their crushing defeat at the hands of Bowie State University to face Virginia Union Panthers tonight. The 11 and 10 Virginia Union Panthers are currently in second place in the Northern Division of the CIAA and the Lions are in fourth. This game is very pivotal in seeding for the CIAA tournament later this season. The Lincoln Lions go into the half with a seven point lead of 39-32 behind the offensive efforts of Denzel Mooney and Kenny Sharp. After blowing a 12-point lead in the second half, the Lincoln Lions are entering overtime with the Virginia Union Panthers at 68-0. The Lions continue their defensive dominance as they are in the zone. I'm here with Coach Hill, head coach of the men's basketball team after that great win in overtime, 86-81 over Virginia Union. And Coach Osborne, can you please explain to us your game plan for today and why it was so successful? Well, we don't really change much from game to game. We're pretty consistent with what we do. Um, you know. I'm here with senior captain and leading scorer for today's game, Denzel Mooney, as he went on to have 28 points in the overtime victory over Virginia Union. Explain to us what you were thinking or what was going through your mind in the second half when you guys lost a 12-point lead in about two minutes. Um, I just had to gather the team together and, and tell everybody to stay focused. Um, we were we were letting the lead, we were getting too comfortable with the lead, basically. On to outscore the Panthers 18 to 13 in overtime. Thank you, you know, great game. Deontay. After an exciting game in overtime, this is Deontay Smith reporting live from Maryville Gymnasium. Lady Lions returned to the floor for the first time since their loss uh, at the hands of Virginia Union earlier this week. The Lions are here to face the Virginia State Lady Trojans. With a nice behind the back dribble and a no look pass, Nice Martin finds Courtney Lucas for two. The Lions jump to an early double digit lead of 14 in the second half. Brittany Waters came to life in the second half, knocking down several threes for the Lady Lions. The Lady Lions went on to beat the Virginia State Lady Trojans 69 to 67. I'm here with Coach Kern, the Lady Lions head basketball coach, after this wonderful victory over Virginia State University. Could you talk to us about the starting lineups? Uh, there were a few different starters than normal. Can you explain why that went? Virginia State has had at least five combinations of starting fives. It is, some of my girls don't even, it doesn't matter whether we start or don't start, you know, just as long as we get a victory in the end, so. Amen. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. Thank you, Coach Kern. Thank you. Great game. Thanks. I'm here with Denise Moore, the Lady Lions leading scorer for tonight's game with 19 points and led the team in assists with seven. Off the bench, I might add. Denise, how did you feel coming off the bench today? I know you normally do start. I talked to the coach earlier. She just said she wanted to switch it up just because. Uh, how did you feel? I actually felt more comfortable, comfortable coming off the bench. This is Deontay Smith reporting live from Maryville Gymnasium. Back to you. In the studio, we have sports correspondent Deontay Smith. Thank you, Lynn. All I do is lend, lend, lend no matter what. To infinity and beyond. And nothing is impossible. In case you have been living under a rock, I am referring to Jeremy Lin, the Taiwanese point guard for the New York Knicks from Harvard University. After being cut by two teams and nearly days away from being cut again, Lin entered the game against the New Jersey Nets and made history. He has single-handedly resurrected the New York Knicks and has quickly become the NBA's biggest story. He has the most points ever in NBA for his first six starts. He is currently averaging 24.5 points per game and 9 assists per game. As of now, the Cinderella story keeps evolving and evolving 
and he is the real deal. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, Deontay.